Hey y'all, welcome back to Small Town Southern Wife. Today we're gonna make an apple pie. So I wanted to show y'all how we're gonna do this quick, easy apple pie recipe. And I wanted to share with y'all my new shirt that I've got. Devin made it for me, my daughter-in-law. She got her one of those machines that does this now and the press to put them on. So she's gonna have her Etsy shop I'm gonna link it down below, and if y'all wanna get anything from her, just click on her link and go to her Etsy shop. Or if you want something special order, just contact her and she'll be able to make it. Any kind of design, she can make picture frames, cups, shirts, uh, aprons, pot holders, whatever you're thinking you might want with a logo on it, uh, contact her Etsy shop and see if she can do what you're wanting. Okay, so if y'all decide y'all wanna uh, get you a shirt, just Click on the link down below and go check her link, uh, her Etsy shop out. And plus, she'll probably make her like a, a, a web, web page for it. I really don't know how all that works, but I'm sure she does. So just be looking for her. And if you decide you want a shirt or a cup or anything uh, that you're looking to get made, contact her. But now let's, I'm going to show y'all how we're going to do our apple pie recipe. So let's get started on these apples. We're gonna use this little thing that Travis made. If y'all have watched my canning apple video, you remember seeing that in my video, but I'm gonna use it to take the cores out. Look how easy that makes it. He got this on Amazon. If y'all was to, want one, that's where he found it at. They're juicy. Okay, now we're gonna get them peeled. Right here, I have a half a bowl of water, and I don't want my apples to turn brown, so I'm gonna put me a little bit of lemon juice in my water to keep my apples from turning. I set that back here, and we're just gonna start peeling these apples. And I'm gonna cut them up pretty thin. That way they won't take so long to cook when you're making your pie. But we're gonna put them in the water. When I get all these peeled, I'll bring y'all back. Okay, y'all, this is what you're gonna need for your apple pie. You're gonna need one pie crust. You're gonna need two tablespoons of cinnamon, around seven small to medium apples, a stick of butter, one egg, one cup of brown sugar, and a little cornstarch, about a half of a teaspoon. And that's all you're gonna need. Let me show you how you're gonna do it. Start by just getting your pie crust open. And he's out there doing something with the saw. Let me get me a plate to lay it in. Okay, we'll lay this one out. And I'm gonna go ahead and open up both of them. Mm. 
and let them be sitting out, getting room temperature better out of that box. So you get them out, let them start getting room temperature. Okay, we're gonna go ahead now and drain the water and the lemon juice off the apples. And get all them out of there. And let them sit there for a few minutes and let that water drain. And while they're draining, I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna move over here and start heating up the iron skillet. And I'm gonna go ahead and turn my oven on and preheat it to 375. And let it be preheating. And I've got my skillet on heating. Okay. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put my apples in my bowl that I took them out of since the water's drained off of them pretty good. And we're going to add two tablespoons of cinnamon to the cut up apples. And then I'm gonna add a half of cornstarch on the apples with the cinnamon. About a half of a tablespoon. And then we're gonna go ahead and toss our apples in that cinnamon with that little bit of cornstarch. They smell so good. Okay, and then let's set them to the side. Okay, here's my one egg yolk. I went ahead and separated that egg while we're waiting for that skillet to get hot. And right here I have my one stick of butter and I'm gonna go ahead and add it to my iron skillet and let it be melting. You want real butter, you don't want no margarine or anything like that. Use real butter and let, let it melt down. Oh, I don't want to get my new shirt dirty. And y'all need to go check her out. I believe y'all find something that you like over there. Okay, it's almost, when it gets almost melted down, we're gonna go ahead now and add our one cup of brown sugar to that butter. And start melting that butter and that sugar down. Move y'all closer over here where y'all can see. Okay, now you can see it a little better. Yeah, that's better, I believe. What you need to do is get you some vanilla ice cream to eat with this apple pie while it's good and hot. 
cut it up just a little bit, get that sugar dissolving a little better. It's starting to get good and hot. Okay, now once you have your sugar bubbling and your butter melted, you're going to take, we're going to use this bottom one because it has a little messed up place in it. And we're just going to put it inside the skillet on top of that mixture. Fold your sides, try to get it even. And then what we're going to do is go ahead now and take our apple pie, our apples and put down in it. got to get them all out of there. We don't want to leave any in there. Then once you get your apples in there, and see you don't have to put the sugar in the apples because it's all in the, it's going to be in that bottom crust. And they're, it's going to melt inside there. Okay, and then once you get all that in your skillet, you're going to go ahead then and put the top crust on. And poke it down in there just like you would do a pie, pie crust if it was in a different kind of skillet. Okay, let me wipe my hands off. I got cinnamon all over me. And then what you gotta do is you gotta go ahead and I'm gonna cut this heat off because we're fixing to put it in the oven, but you wanna give it some vent holes like you would any pie. And then just take your knife and put your little edges, your little knife print in the edges and that'll make it look like a pretty little pie crust. And then take your egg, white, and then just brush it over the top of your pie. Brush it over it real good. This helped golden it. And then I have some sugar and cinnamon mixed together. And you can buy this or you can make your own. You can take just white sugar and cinnamon and mix it together. You can buy it or you can make it. It's just white sugar with cinnamon mixed together. And I would like to coat the top of my crust with that after I put the egg wash on it. So now we're going to put it in the oven on 375 and it'll take probably around 30 to 35 minutes. Just keep an eye on it. Okay, y'all. The apple pie is, is getting good and brown, so it's about the way I want it. I'm going to go ahead and take it out. There's what it looks like. Oh. Hear it sizzling. And it's bubbling. That means your apples are good and tender. Your crust is brown and pretty. That little bit of cinnamon and sugar that we put on top of it looks real brown and crispy and pretty. 
So let's let it cool and I'll show y'all what it looks like inside. Now that I got the first piece out, it's going to be easier. I had to get it started. So it didn't turn out that pretty. So now we're going to get this one out. See, that one turned out a lot prettier. See the pretty apples? Okay, y'all, that's our apple pie easy recipe. So I hope y'all enjoy this video. And if you do, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and hit the red button down below and subscribe to our channel if this is your first time seeing one of our videos. And if you uh, like apple pies, and plus you can make blueberry pies like this, apple, peach, uh, any kind of pie it would be easy to do with this uh, same recipe. So if y'all like it and give it a try, let us know. Thanks for watching.